Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to use Puddle Pack inside of Cinema 4D and Arnold Render Engine, which is a third party render engine inside of Cinema 4D. So we have already taken a look at how we can use this inside of physical. Now let's see how we can use this with third party render engine. So let's start. Uh, let's take a plane first and let's make this around 1000 by 1000 and the segment will be somewhere around like 100 and 100. So if you look at the grout shading lines, you'll see we have decent amounts of segments. And uh, we can turn off the lines now. So uh, let's create a material for this. So now to create an Arnold material, you can go to create Arnold surface and stand surface. Otherwise, you can also go to shader and create an Arnold shader network, one and the same thing. So I'm going to take a stand surface and I'm going to call this puddle. Okay, let's make the weight one. Now open the network editor and this is where all the magic is going to happen so uh, let's see now the first thing we are going to do is drop in all the images now you can simply go to your browser or you can save your files and you can simply drag and drop your images directly into the network shader or you can also search for image and take this node and also browse it through here as well whatever suits you i'm going to just drag and drop in so as you can see i've loaded my images now i have diffuse which you can see right over here and uh, displacement and roughness and normal so let's connect these first so i'm going to connect the output to the input of the stand surface color base and color perfect now as you can see we have the color going on i'm going to make this huge and now for the normal what i'm going to do is take a normal map to generate these normals onto our shader connect this to the geometry and normal perfect now for the displacement i'm going to take a normal displacement node to generate or you can say process your displacement properly onto your plane and let's attach this to the annual displacement okay now for the roughness what we are going to do is take a color correct node just so we have a better control on our shading good and let's connect this to the specular and roughness okay perfect let's close this now let's close this and drop it on your plane and for the lighting purpose i'm going to take a sky if you don't have this menu docked here you can simply go to plugins Arnold, and you can also access it from here so let's take a sky switch this to the physical sky and let's take an ipr let the ipr load the images okay so as you can see we have already loaded our puddle now uh, there are a couple of things uh, we need to understand before uh, actually making this puddle a complete perfect kind of procedural puddle kind of thing not procedural but a perfect look for it first time i'm just going to change the overall elevation of this sun and change this okay i'm going to keep it like this okay so now as you can see since we are using a displacement map to displace the geometry we don't have enough segments on our plane to process this much displacement so what we are going to do is take an Arnold parameter so right click on your plane and go to cinema 4d to Arnold tags and take an Arnold parameter now here we are going to go to displacement first and make sure your height is set to somewhere like 10 you can also keep it to 100 and make the bounce padding to 1 and it totally depends on you if you want to turn on the auto bump auto bump uh, does give a pretty interesting result but sometimes it messes up with your overall displacement so let's switch this to subdivision type to catacloud and what this is going to be doing is it's going to multiply your subdivisions like for example right now we have 100 subdivision or you can say 200 subdivisions on our plane and what subdivision uh, catacloud will do is just multiply so right now we must must be seeing somewhere around like 500 to 1000 so let's make this even higher to around three okay perfect I'm going to make the displacement 200 again just so we can see the now you can see how harsh the displacement gets so I'm going to turn this back to 100 now okay and as you can see we have pretty interesting thing going on right and at any time if you think the if you want to change the overall look and everything you can always go back to your puddle you can select your open the network shader and select the color correct and what you can also do is let me just turn on turn off the IPR and dock close this if I open this up and uh, let's make this a new window and uh, what I'm going to do is let's select this color correct 
and let's make this smaller and this one to somewhere like this okay so i'm going to select my color correct node and if i change the gamma or if i just connect this to the beauty as you can see this is our roughness map which is generating overall roughness so if i change something like gamma right so as you can see i'm just making the contrast highlighted or you can see making the effect even harsher so this way you can control the overall look of your puddles and if i increase the exposure by 0.1 you can also see we get pretty you can see harsh results let's make it 0.5 now if i connect this back to the arnold beauty as you can see we have much more more stronger roughness going on so let's stop this now let's turn on the ipr now okay so as you can see now we have more roughness going on so it totally depends on you what kind of look you are going for and if you want more puddles or more roughness you can play around with the values and this will just give you pretty interesting results so i'm just going to turn off the auto bump and yeah so there's all sorts of things that you can do with this you can always get rid of this let me just take an all point light somewhere like this and i'm going to switch the render engine to anil and let's take uh, environment atmospheric volume something like this okay, let me just set the view and in the light i'm going to make the exposure to 2 right and in the temperature i'm going to make this pretty cool temperature let's make the samples to 12 and attenuation anastrophy 2.5 and uh, the density will be 0.3 yeah uh, now you can take anything for example a simple sphere something like this and i'm going to make this somewhere like 60 and let's make this hexahedron and i'm just going to pause this let's take a new camera i'm going to switch it to portrait and let's get into it and let's change the resolution to somewhere like 1k okay so now i can put it somewhere like this yeah let's see now so now as you can see we have pretty cool thing going on and this way you can use these puddles to create an interesting result if you think the speculiness on this or you can see shininess on this is too much you can always go back and change the overall weight of this specular to get a kind of uh, mixed look so i think it's looking pretty good uh, try experimenting with different kinds of maps to see what kind of result you get and if you do create something out of this pack definitely send me on instagram i love to see your work so i hope you enjoyed this video and keep experimenting and if you have any doubts let me know and have a good day yeah.